people say. I'll ask you guys this question because I think it, it gets brought up when, when you talk about football a lot, especially the Saints fans. What's you guys' true take on Dennis Allen? I don't know yet. Because I, I've never I've never really gotten an answer from a from a true Saints fan on yeah. how you guys feel oh, about we Dennis were, Allen. I'd say we were pretty vocal about it last year. It's just I wanted to get rid of him. I yeah, did. we definitely were you point. guys vocal just because of the, the record, the wins and losses, or is it just overall I, play calling and I, I had well it was a few things. I, I felt like I had heard some things from people I know and I felt like he had lost the team. And I was like, these guys don't even respect them. They don't like them. They look bad every week. Like, why keep them? Just get rid of them. Start over. Get somebody else. But as the season went on, it looked like the team really started playing for them. They were, they were trying. Like, they didn't finish well, but they were trying. You saw effort. So it was like, okay, I don't know. I don't know. They rallied around them near the end. So it was like, all right, maybe, maybe we roll with them. Maybe we stick with them for another year, see what happens. I wanted Pete gone. Pete was my scapegoat. Yeah. I was like, all right, the offense sucked. That's we got to change something. That's what I would say. Like, at the end, by the end of the year, like if you'd asked me mid season, I'd be like Dennis Allen. He's like, it's got to go. Like his deep, because there was a point where the defense wasn't good, and I was like, if you can't, if that's your specialty, and you can't have that be good, even with the talent we had, yeah. Like, what are we doing? But it turned around, right? And then it, it turned, turned around. around. So by the end of the season, I was like, all right, Dennis, like he can have another chance. But Pete, <laughs> like the offense was terrible. It was so bad. And was it? But then you you get into. I hate, especially now that we're, like, talking to some of these people more and more, I'm not going to look Pete in the face and say, hey, your, t- your offense sucked last year. I might, <laughs> I might be a little nicer about it, right? You don't know what's going on there. You don't know if it's, if it's the quarterback situation. You don't know if the O-line is, is not playing up to par, so the quarterback's – like, you don't know. You have to really right. sit there and dissect it. Right. What I can say is the product on the field offensively did not look good. Yeah, this is, this is 100% a make-or-break season for everybody. Everybody. Like, you got – that's what I said. when they decided to run it back with everybody. I was like, okay, that's fine. They went get they went get Derek Carr. So now Pete or Dennis Allen has his quarterback that he wants. He's got he cha- he made changes to the defensive coaches. He made you know he's got his players, his guys. There ain't no more excuses. Mm-hmm. Do you think I had this thought? I actually had it written down. So the years, well, Sean Payton was in the news today actually for talking trash um i don't know why he talked trash about the coach that was there before he had no reason to do that that was kind of a shitty move we're not gonna go into throws the jets in there i was like what like (laughs) who's who's are we gonna (laughs) see now we could just talk about it listen just just go into it my my feelings were made very clear about sean payton i i love sean payton for everything he did for the saints i mean easily the best saints coach we've ever had like thankful for everything he did for us and i love the pettiness that he had when he was here because it was it was it embraced the city the culture he built the culture right but is our entire view of him about to change no I, it may a little but i don't i mean it is what it is like he still did so, what he did here and so my view on him was changing a little bit because I, you know i told you i felt like he quit yeah like he quit on the team it's one thing to retire but like he retired with the intention of coming back there was no point where he retired and was like yeah, I think I'm done. It was always, I'm going to come back at some point. It's just not going to be for this team right here. Yeah. And I didn't like how we left the team, like, in shambles a little bit. Like, but now, am I go- I'm wondering if I'm going to – I don't – I'll never I'll never hate the pettiness. Like, be petty. Do what you want to do, right? But throwing random shots at I the Jets for no reason. But I think that's something – as far as him retiring and coming back, I think that's something that – that the sports world, I mean, I think that's something that Saints fans knew, right? Like everybody knew, knew. He would when yeah. Drew left. I think you knew it for years when Drew left that he was gone. You assumed it's, it. It's one of those things that you don't want to believe. I think. I think that. The, I think I said it on one of the podcasts. I think the way he looked at it is like, okay, Drew's gone. He had made public comments about Taysom being his next guy, and I think he saw Taysom in the offense and was like, oh shit, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> Instantly, he was like, "You know what? I'm done. At least, I'm done. I got to get out of here." At least for me, and I think a lot, of, and I've seen this voiced a lot. The issue wasn't that he was t- deciding to go, or even that he was going to come back for another team. It was that he didn't. He kind of operated the Saints as if he knew he wasn't going to be here and didn't give a shit about what happened afterwards. Yeah. Which, as a fan, I'm like, what? Like, come on, why? man. Like, right. What's What's the reason why? Yeah, it's like. 
I don't know. That's what rubbed me the wrong way. I don't I don't like that you ignored certain position groups for years. You didn't try to find a successor because it's almost like you operated as if I'm trying to win for me and then I don't give a shit what happens to this team afterwards. So And, like, we got love for him. I would expect a little bit of same thing. But it's, I guess you know, that's what somebody's going to say. It's a business, blah, blah, blah. That's This is sort of what I was about to get into because you just mentioned he was okay with certain position groups. And, and on the flip side, Dennis Allen has actually done everything fans would want him to do from a position standpoint, from a, from a player standpoint. It's almost like you have a fan running the front office now. Do you think it pans out? If it doesn't pan out, does Peyton look like he was right all those years? Because, like, these teams that go out and get these names and, and, and basically do what the fans want, they don't seem to pan out very well. I don't. So, like, obviously Dennis Allen is never going to admit this, right? With Sean Payton, it felt like he, he had this ego where he was like, I don't need so-and-so. Yeah. I can turn this undrafted guy into greatness. I feel like Dennis Allen almost knows that he needs to load up on talent. Like, yeah. he's not he's – not off, especially on offense. Like, you've seen that they've kind of – they've not really made – besides, like, Tyron, they're not making big splashes on defense. Yeah. Signing, right? He's like, I'll take this defensive end from Houston, and we're going to turn him into something. Or Alante, I'll take Alante Taylor, who's actually a safety, in the second round and make him this starting cornerback. But on the offensive side, he's like, we're just going to get talent because yeah, this, this is not my specialty. They just load up. So you, it, that's why it wasn't shocking, right, when they went get da- Derek Carr. Like, you, he knew he couldn't do it with somebody. Like, if you had Sean last year, the results are different with – Jameis and you, you think w- so? how many times did we see a moment in the game where it was just bad coaching y- yeah I mean you, you think, know what I mean you think I, I, Sean a, a good offensive coach now you still have Dennis Allen running the defense in this scenario right Sean is on the, Sean Payton is worth a win or two just from coaching no matter who the quarterback is we've seen it he he made Teddy Bridgewater look way better than Teddy Bridgewater actually was he knew Teddy Bridgewater's skill set, and that's, he knew, that's he knew what how to use it. That's what I'm saying. He knows how to get the most out of that. He Dennis made, Allen, it was on Pete yeah. to do that, right? Yeah. He don't know. Like, so now they're like, you know what? We're going to get the best quarterback available. For whatever anybody's opinions are on Derek Carr, he was the best quarterback available. Oh, for sure. So Unless he's like, go we're going – Like, if you could trade for Aaron Rodgers, that's the only other – We're going to get our guy. We're going to load up at receiver. We're going to load up at – all these different. We're gonna draft a new running back. We're gonna sign the be, one of the best running backs available in free agency, and we loading up on offense. You know, ask you this: you think if you think if Sean stayed in New Orleans, you think Rodgers is the quarterback? I think Russell's the quarterback. You think so? Oh yeah, him and him and Russell Wilson. I don't think it's a coincidence that he ended up in Denver. Him and Russell you, Wilson have you, always had ties. But how do you get him? Because Russell was already traded to Denver before Sean left. But before the last year. Yeah, last year he got traded, but for the year before that, for the last couple of years, there's been Russell Wilson trade rumors. Yeah, and we were always linked. And he talked. He always talked. Russell Wilson worshipped Drew Brees. He always talked good about Sean Payton. Yeah, I want to say he coached him at the Pro Bowl a couple of times. Yeah, and I I think that was one of them scenarios where Sean would have been like, "Hey, do what you got. Told Mickey, do what you got to do to go get him." I don't I don't think you're wrong, and I think that you're, we're starting to we're starting to scratch the surface on what the issue ended up being. I, I think nobody's ever going to admit this. I think what ended up happening is there was a there was they were butting heads. Mickey and Sean had a difference in opinion. Sean wanted a quarterback. That's why he was linked to Russell. That's why he was linked to Rodgers even, and he was linked to Tom Brady. Yep. If you remember, he was linked to all these different guys.